Okay, here's a view of the uh, the test. That one there is 360. I'm going to go back and flip it. That's the uh, Australian tracker. Four of those from Technic panels that just dropped dramatically. There's tracker number two, 472. There's the battery bank switched over to all, so they're all going into that inverter that says battery all. That's the Canadian Solar 710 watts T2. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to reposition this guy. And I'm going to go get my uh, time lapse camera and bring it in here to film this while I readjust this tracker and then I'm going to go cool those panels down. Because All right, I just uh, hope you can see this. I tell you, it's hot out here. I ain't shit. There's a shot at my house. 9900. I'm going to come over here in the shade. 101, 102. Oh, this camera needs to have a new battery put in it. Take a pause for that. Alright, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get a, a picture with my camera on the time time lapse intervalometer setting. I got 368 on the top, 486 on the Canadian Solar, 345 on the battery bank, and 498 on the other Canadian Solar. And I hope it comes out. I'm going to go outside now and cool those panels off and see how big a temperature change is noticeable. Damn it, I keep forgetting to do all this. Fifty-three, one fifty-four. All right, I'm going to cool them down. Okay, just drop the panels down to a mere hundred degrees, ninety down. So I just cool them down fifty degrees. And I think it was eighteen before, and now it's twenty-two point five. So it's at about four and a half watts, five watts, somewhere thereabouts. I'm going to cut this off. Here we are back in the house. I, mean, I don't know what the time lapse is called, but I'm looking at 470 on the from Technics. 492 on tracker number three that I didn't hose down. 431 on number two, and 326 on the battery uh, bank slash everything combined to the battery switch. And just to show you the temperature difference, this is my battery room. Get under the fan probably it's a little better. What's it saying? 81 degrees? Well this feels like a friggin' meat locker compared to what I just came out of. And this room here of course is a bit warmer because all these inverters are going with fans. It's 88 degrees. So anyway, it's uh, 465, 466, 485. Now that 485, see what you see, that's 710, that's only 710 watts, but that's, uh, those are brand new panels. Brand new Canadian solar coming in at 47 volts, polycrystalline, which I may have bad mouthed them prematurely, but they seem to be the winning producers so far. They don't seem to be nearly as affected by the heat as I thought they were going to be, but they are brand new. These Technic jobs are about seven years old, and I knew what I was buying. One of them has a panel with three cells in them that have some dark lines going across them, almost looks like a short. And the top panel, the newest one of them all, has one six by six or whatever it is cell. Actually, has a chip a corner of broken right off, and it's laying down up against the other cell. It doesn't appear to be affecting the performance, other than the heat. All right. I'm going to cut this off now because it's going to be a long video and uh, all I'm gonna, what I'm going to do while this is processing is I'm going to hook up two switches to that Richard Spelling um, solar tracker because it shows you a way to hook up a auto manual tracking with two switches and how to do it. So it's too hot to do anything else so I'm going to go build those two switches and I'm going to take a video of how that's done and how to hook that up so you can take your non-auto, non-manual tracking system and convert it over to a manual automatic tracking system. So I'm going to upload that too. So 